Okay, so I got a few questions on the force lightning tutorial, how to composite the lightning onto your footage. And as this is something really easy but hard to explain through a comment response, I'm just going to make a quick video on it to show you exactly how this is done. So I've got the lightning that we created in the tutorial here. And I can just preview that so you see it's the lightning. There you go. It's actually two strands of lightning. So I duplicated the lightning and added it in there twice because I was shooting it out of both of my hands in my video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into project and I'm going to my, take my video that I unfortunately don't have anymore and drag it on the new comp button. So I'm going to go into here. But I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to change, take something else which is going to seem totally ridiculous but it was the only thing I could find at the moment and it's this ridiculous image sequence of a cell phone being typed on and as I'm just trying to show you how exactly we composite it onto here it doesn't matter what footage this is just so you see it's something so I drag that onto the new comp button and I'm gonna go back to my lightning comp and see the name here this is force lightning 002 002 so I'm gonna go back into this comp and take that 002 comp and just drag it in here just on top so it's now in there it's playing on top of it then I'm going to adjust the transfer mode that you can see here. If you can't see, just press this button down here to overlay. Sorry, I meant at. Damn, <laughs> sorry. I keep getting these mixed up. Screen. That wasn't it. Oh, so it was add. My bad then. Keep getting these mixed up. Yeah, that looks like it. So I'm just going to drag this up so the glow doesn't abruptly stop some point in there and you can see that it plays perfectly on top of the footage now this is all you would have to do just insert it into that comp uh, this comp that you have from the lightning and it says transfer mode to add sorry for that little mess up there and then if you want to get real fancy which is going to look a lot better I can show you in this comp that I had with my other footage I still have this saved where I had my footage which is now not shown anymore in here um, I have had this in the background and then I added looks like the opacity here is adjust no it looks a bit dark for some reason but I also added um, a color adjustment in here some adjustments on an extra adjustment layer which affected the footage and the lightning now it looks a bit yellow but together with the original footage it looked quite good and it looked a lot more realistic if you do this it looks like it really fits into the scene and I guess that's already it. Now sorry for this odd tutorial because I can't find the footage and I got messed up there but I think you get the point. It's actually quite easy to get it on there. You're just going to have to play a lot around a little with matching it up. You can, you can always go come back into this comp and make changes and when you change something here it'll automatically be updated in this comp here because this is just a reference to that. So whatever you do here is automatically done in here. Well you, you could see it like that I guess. So there you go. Now you know how to composite that onto there. Have fun with this effect and I'd love to see some video responses. Please post them. This is an awesome effect. Thanks for watching.